Hi, I'm Ashutosh Khurana and welcome to my life page. Today we will speak about toys and games design as a career option in the growing economy of India. But before I speak about that, I'll speak about myself. I'm an engineering graduate from NIT Kurukshetra. I did my engineering in mechanical stream. I passed out in 1993. After doing my engineering, I worked for one and a half years with Duncan Group in a boiler house. I realized during that one and a half years of period that I'm not meant to be an engineer, to work in the factory. There was something more than just having the engineering skills in me, which I wanted to apply in life. And that's a message that I want to give you across that if you choose a profession, choose it because of your liking, choose it because you have interest. But before we speak about toys and games design, let's understand the word design. If you look at anything around, everything there is a design. There was some idea, some creative expression that an individual had which the person took through the process of checking the functionality of that idea, checking how that will serve the utility of its customers and how would it bring some convenience to the users. Such kind of processes, when person applied a thinking behind it, the design took the form of some concrete expression. Prop. To, and the drawing would be needed to create prototypes. Now drawing can be in the form of pen and paper drawing. You should be good at pen and paper drawing. Or could you could be using computer aided softwares to do that drawing part. Now that drawing has to be converted into some 3D prototypes at a later stage, which means whatever problem solving skill is one of the most important skill. When we design something, we are designing to solve some problem. The problem could be in the form of a convenience could be in the form of a new material, could be in the form of longevity of your design. But we are always solving some problem through the design process. And hence, problem solving skills with a perspective of a user in mind or a process in mind is an extremely critical skill. The biggest positive of the toys and games design is actually working for the segment which is going to be the future, which is children which is kids. If you are able to create something which is useful for them and alongside being useful is also fun and engagement for them is the biggest satisfaction that one can ask for and which is the biggest positive. So helping shaping up the mind, helping shaping up the future or being a contributor to the process is the biggest positive of being a toys and games designer. Another the biggest of the challenge of toys and games design is to be able to identify a new problem every day to be solved. Identifying problems is not an easy task. A problem which actually leads to some betterment of the choice set that you have in mind, which is the future generation, which is the children. For me as a game designer, there are two kinds of days that I have. One is when I'm actually designing a game, and putting some expression to the problems that we have identified. The other type of days are where we do not know what the problem that we are solving. We have no problem in our hand. So the days when we have a problem in our hand, we are all into finding an answer. Until the time the answer has not come out, there's no day and there's no night for us. It's a kind of uh, state where you don't feel like eating anything where you don't feel like sleeping. You don't like to talk to anyone because there's something burning inside which has to come out as a form of an expression. An outcome has to come. So those are mad days for us. Once those days are over, where we are solving the problem, they leave behind a huge vacuum inside. Now that vacuum has to be filled in with a new positive energy. So we generally take a break of a week to fill ourselves with new positive energies and go out. We do party. We get up late in the morning. We sleep more than what we actually need as a body to sleep. But those are the days to recoup ourselves. Then from there, the journey starts of finding a new problem for which we'd like to create an expression. Now that is the most interesting part because there is a madness there and there's also a method in that madness. So 
all of us as a team work on identifying new problems and every week we pick up a new problem to discuss so saturdays turn out to be those days where we, each one of us makes a presentation on the problem that we would like to solve and then through the month we figure out which are the problems that we would like to work upon i hope i have given you a balanced view on toys and games designing to summarize my talk here india is going to become the fifth largest economy in 2020 and is set to replace uk as a fifth economy with the boost in startup india made in india and the way government is working upon creating cohesive wonderful environment for entrepreneurs to shape the future of this country the stream that will pick up and become a big career path for a lot of us is the design space i would urge you all to look at bachelor's of designing or maybe after graduation a specialized design course as a career option you will have the freedom to choose whether you would like to work for someone else or you would like to become an entrepreneur yourself giving others the opportunity to work for you and grow thank you so much have a good day